the Halo Infinite E3 presentation is going to be, and I quote, for Halo-ass Halo fans. What does that really mean? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. The Halo Infinite 2021 E3 presentation is coming just around the corner for us guys and I'm extremely excited about this. So excited that we we'll actually will be doing a watch party on my Twitch channel, link in the description down below. Hope to see you guys there. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday as well. But in today's video, I'm giving you information from a bit of a gaming industry insider, Jeff Grubb, who's been kind of coming out with some recent information. He's the guy that actually leaked out the reveal date of Halo Infinite and the Xbox presentation being on June 13th. So he's kind of credible and so he recently posted up a video and i go over some of the details that he brought up while talking about halo infinite so if you guys like these news and informational videos make sure you tap that like button let's me know you want to see some more content like this you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo as it ramp up to the release of halo infinite well make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so recently jeff grubb on his show the game mess show he talked about Halo Infinite because he does the battle, like a morning news and informational kind of live stream that he does every day. And this one, he got a fan question about Halo Infinite. He just kind of goes off about what he thinks and what he knows roughly about what's going to be happening with Halo Infinite. So this guy is kind of like an industry insider. He's worked with games and things like that previously. So he kind of has his connections within the industry there. And from what he said about Halo Infinite's presentation, that it's going to be very Halo-like, which sounds pretty interesting, but also a little concerning to me at the same time what he says in this that is that microsoft is looking to cater to halo fans as the halo ass halo fans as in just like the people who just love halo and just want halo well that's what you're going to get with this presentation he says that he doesn't really believe that new fans will get excited about this presentation for halo infinite because it's just like more halo it doesn't really break ground of like anything new that halo can do within its franchise it's more just kind of focusing on what makes Halo great and doubling down on that. He also expects it to be multiplayer focused for this E3 presentation, which does kind of make sense. If you look at the recent art that we got showcasing the announcement of the E3 presentation, here's an edited version without all the text and everything here. Uh, you can see that this is probably, I think, the first time that we've seen any Halo Infinite kind of art or presentation that doesn't feature Master Chief. And the main things you really put a focus on are different Spartans and their different armor customizations. At least that's kind of the emphasis I get out of this. We even see some weapon coatings on this assault rifle here. I mean, maybe this is a weapon coating on the Stalker rifle. I'm not sure, but it kind of matches along with what we've seen in the toy reveals. A different kind of look to the sidekick that we had previously. A new addition to the bottom half right there to make it more Halo-like is what they mentioned in previous development updates. As well as a different skin on top of that as well. Different types of armor coatings customization as well very reach focused as well which i do believe we'll be making a different video talking about the influence reach has on halo infinite and i believe it's much more than just artistic interpretation and also when you think about the first reveal in pike in 2018 was kind of a campaign reveal right not really but it was like a demo kind of graphic kind of thing to get people kind of excited about halo infinite joining the team and stuff then we had the discover hope trailer which is the first cutscene of the game like when you boot up the game that's what you see actually and then you have the campaign gameplay reveal as well. So we've seen nothing about multiplayer. And multiplayer for a lot of people is like the main draw for Halo Infinite or just Halo in general. And so I would highly expect to see multiplayer be the focus for Halo Infinite's reveal because we already saw the campaign. Yeah, you definitely want to see like the graphical improvements and stuff like that, which I'm sure a lot of people want to do compare and contrasting stuff. If you get a chance to do that, I guarantee I'll be doing it on this video, but we've been doing it throughout the months with the different updates as well, showcasing the graphical changes that have happened through Halo Infinite over the course of the last year or so, which I do believe we'll get maybe like a kind of cinematic kind of trailer kind of compilation thing. I have a feeling that we'll get kind of similar to like the campaign trailer reveal that we had, uh, something similar that I think we might get for campaign as well. But the main thing with multiplayer is going to be answering the big question, will there be Battle Royale? Now, if there is, you guarantee they'll be advertising the heck out of it. If there isn't, I don't think they're going to mention it at all. They're not going to go on stage and say, no Battle Royale, unless they're just trying to be cheeky with everybody. Again, this thing is going to be for the Halo-ass Halo fans, as Jeff Grubb put it, and so most likely there will be no Battle Royale announcement. Frankie from 343 did mention about how Forge is going to be so strong that you probably could make a Battle Royale in there, which we will cover in another video talking about the history of Battle Royale leaks 
if you want to call them that. Again, since it's going to be a very Halo-like presentation, the multiplayer will most likely focus on what makes Halo great, the Slayer modes, the capture the flag, maybe Strongholds if that's going to come back. Because that's kind of the idea of Halo Infinite, is to kind of go back to the roots of what makes Halo great. Not trying to follow any kind of trends or anything like that, or fix up Halo in a certain way to make it more palatable to the modern audience. It's more about making Halo back to its roots, what makes it great. Jeff Grubb also talks about did not expect a huge deep dive into Halo Infinite. Yes, we did see in the key art for the E3 presentation, you see Halo Infinite and you see Starfield. Those are probably gonna be the two big games that they're gonna reveal, but you also gotta remember that it's a 90 minute presentation and how many studios does Xbox own now? And they own Bethesda now as well, which are gonna to have to do a lot of presentation talking about that as well. Now here's an image created by Clobro just to kind of give you some perspective of what exactly Microsoft owns now when it comes to gaming. It's not just Halo and Gears of War anymore. It mentions how there are 23 first party Xbox titles now. With the acquisition of ZeniMax with Bethesda, you can see this is just an example of what Xbox has to potentially show. So the rumors are that the Halo Infinite presentation might not be like a huge emphasis, which to me kind of would make sense that you have so many different things that are under the Xbox umbrella that 343 is just one aspect. But yes, we did see with the key art that Starfield and Halo Infinite were the main focus. So I would expect a decent presentation. I've heard rumors about like 10 minutes long for the presentation for Halo Infinite, which would might be a little disappointing, but with a multiplayer focused reveal for this year that you really can't really go off too much much when it comes to the gameplay on stream, unless you're just going to show straight gameplay, which might be kind of boring, a little dull for the E3 presentation. Since campaign gameplay is much more bombastic and cinematic and much more showy, where multiplayer is kind of straightforward, especially with Halo, that uh, with the multiplayer side of things that you need to be a little bit more straightforward or just for like balancing sake. On the forum post reset era, we got a nice little in put by Clobro who replies to the conversation that we're having today about Jeff Grubb and said it took them two mainline games to realize the best way to approach Halo but yep this is exactly what Infinite should be and will be to begin with. So it seems like us Halo ass Halo fans right here are going to be very pleased with the reveal for Halo Infinite as it's going to be very much focusing on what makes Halo play like Halo. If Honestly, if 343 just does that, Halo Infinite will carve out its own little niche within the community to where it doesn't need to follow trends anymore because no game plays like Halo. No game has all the features and all the gameplay elements that Halo has. And the long lineage that people have tested out things and maybe forked have not worked before Halo. And this is what Infinite's trying to be, the amalgamation of all things great when it comes to Halo's gameplay. But we'll just have to wait a little bit longer until we get a chance to see what actually is going to be there for Halo Infinite at E3. Guarantee you guys will be making tons of content on this channel about this. If you missed any content from me recently or banned the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.